the young man agreed and continued his journey. The Young Man and the Sage A Story of Healing and Luck Once upon a time, there was a young man whose life had been full of pain because he lost his father at an early age and his mother struggled. One day, they heard of a sage rumored to heal people and solve mysteries. The young man's mother instructed him to pack up his bags and go meet the sage because they needed to find a solution to their problems. On his way to meet the sage, he stopped over as the first man's house. He was wealthy, but his daughter was mute and unmarried. The wealthy man asked the young man, Where are you headed? The young man replied, I heard of a sage in a faraway land. I am going to see him to help solve the mystery of my life. So, the rich man told the young boy to please also ask the sage when the daughter would speak and when she would marry. The young man accepted and continued his journey. As night fell, the young man slept over at a preacher's house. The preacher, after looking at his baggage, asked him where he was headed. The young man narrated his family ordeal and told him he sought answers. So, he was going to meet a sage who solves people's problems. The preacher told the young man to also ask the sage why, despite all his religious and family wealth, he still felt unhappy. The young man agreed and continued his journey. He then had another stopover at a farmer's house who complained that he had a particular piece of land which refused to bear healthy crops. He asked the young man to please ask the sage why it was so. The young man accepted and proceeded on his journey. Finally, when he reached the sage's abode, he was told that he could only present three matters before the wise man. This got the young man confused because he actually had three people's requests plus his. So, which would he leave for another? After a while, he decided to leave his own problems and present the three requests from the three men who accommodated him during his journey. The young man narrated the problems of the men he met on his way. Then the sage gave him the solutions to the problems and the young man left. On his way home, he entered the house of the farmer. He told the farmer that the crops were not growing on that land because the land was full of gold. The farmer was so happy and he went to the land and started digging. Eventually, he found a lot of gold. Excitedly, he dug out more and packed a lot of the gold in a big bag, which he gave to the young man as he went home. Then, he stopped over at the house of the preacher. He told the preacher that the sage said he had a gem tied to a religious robe that needed not to be there. The preacher said, yes, you are right. 
he took out the gem, gave it to the young man, and immediately the preacher was so excited and felt relieved. The young man thanked him and continued his journey. Finally, the young man entered the house of the wealthy man whose daughter was mute. He told the man that the sage said his daughter would speak. And immediately, the daughter spoke. The wealthy man was so happy, he jumped up and embraced the young man, telling him to marry his daughter because he had brought him luck. So, the young man took his bride and they went home. Upon reaching his family house, the young man's mother was surprised because he came with lots of bags and a beautiful lady. The young man then narrated his ordeal to the mother, telling her that by solving other people's problems, he is eventually got solved. Thanks for watching Love from the classic series. Do you know that sages often revered for their wisdom typically possess deep knowledge, experience, and insight in various fields. They often offer valuable perspectives, guidance, and mentorship to those seeking enlightenment or solutions to life's challenges. However, it's essential to remember that sages are human too, with their own limitations and biases.